Welcome. Stop that. Welcome. This is Advanced Orchestra Violin 2 uh, practice tape. All right, we're going to begin with the Bach Chorale in G. And uh, be sure you really concentrate on how you sit in the orchestra. You should practice standing so that your posture is upright. And then when you sit, keep your upper body the same way it is when you're standing. All right? Work on your violin. Let's get rid of the slouching and the sagging. Hold your violin. Let it be level, level with your shoulders, with your collarbone. Concentrate on your perfecting your bow hold so that it too is even and uh, gives you great control. Let's try to draw the bow in a straight line. All right? Essentially, I'm just going to play through these uh, two corrals for you and uh, give you something to practice with at home. Now, please, uh, second violins, we, we need you to be strong. We need you to play out. We need you to dominate because you have the melody. So, set your metronome to 84 beats a minute. So, put your metronome at 84. Hopefully your violin is tuned. Nice big bow strokes. Here we go. One, two. Pretty straightforward song. <clears throat> Rewind that as many times as necessary until you sound like me. You play exactly with me. Tune, time, and tone. All right, flip the page. Let's do the chorale in D. We're going to slow this tempo down to 69. 69 beats a minute. We're going to start in second position, remember. So put your first finger on F sharp. Right about there. All right. Let's try this again. Play out. You have the melody. One, two, three. Again, a simple song, but it must be played in time and fairly aggressively. Thank you. Let's move on to Rimsky-Korsakov. I think you know the first movement pretty well, so let's concentrate on the second movement, the Variazioni. All right? 
Let's give that a go. Again, practice with a metronome. Our biggest issue in orchestra is playing together and in time. So set your metronome to 100. Start from the beginning. Let's see if you can play with me. Rest, rest, rest. You come back in at letter D. So I'm going to try to play this by memory since I have a big page turn. See if I can do it. Starting at D. One, two, three, one. Let's go back and practice the section at E. That's the most challenging section. What you should do is play it maybe twice as slow. Be sure you can play it perfectly, then do it up to speed. So starting at E, I'm going to go twice as slow. One, two, three, one. So on and so on. 
go back, review that at half speed, then go back and see if you can incorporate that back at full speed. Alright, that's how you have to practice. I expect you to sound like a pro on this next time I see you. Alright, practice, practice, practice. Let's have a great concert. Thank you.